Uh, when I was about nine years old, my dad uh, introduced me to the concept of uh, film and understanding light. And uh, even when I come in here today, I immediately was, was taken by how beautiful the natural light is in this room. But uh, it's, it's sort of something over my life I've noticed that I've kind of always been looking for what, where the light is. Well, when I set out originally to shoot and capture Hollywood as a city, uh, it, it was always presented to me as home. And uh, as, as a photographer, as a young photographer, I wanted to bring the truth, protect the place where I grew up, and also expose the beautiful uh, and sometimes very dark elements of Hollywood as well. Um, all over the world, people look at Hollywood as this place that is an idea of the dream, a chase, a, a, a place of, of great triumphs and successes, but also um, where dreams come true, dreams are shattered, everything. It, it really does, is the central point of sometimes of, of media and, and creating uh, iconic Hollywood movies. You know, you think of things that have made you feel certain ways. So, um, it, it, was, it was an interesting uh, journey to set forth on. It was a little daunting in the beginning, um, but uh, I'm glad that it's come to fruition and I'm here with you talking about it today. Uh, when I was about nine years old, my dad uh, introduced me to the concept of uh, film and understanding light. And uh, even when I come in here today, I immediately was, was taken by how beautiful the natural light is in this room. But uh, it's it's sort of something over my life I've noticed that I've kind of always been looking for what where the light is, where the most beautiful uh, times of day are to, to, to capture moments, and how that changes the dynamic of the photos that you take, uh, the amount of light that you use. So when I was about nine years old, my dad let me borrow his camera, because uh, I remember he took a photo of me eating an ice cream cone, and I remember being like, Dad, stop. This is the ice cream cone. I mean, I was like, Dad, stop. And then he took this photo of me. And then like a week later, I saw the photo and I couldn't believe how beautiful the light looked and everything. And I was like, wait, that's me? Like, I need to understand how you did that. And uh, so ever since then, I've just been kind of obsessed with uh, photography. I do. I still shoot with the M6 that my dad uh, let, let me borrow and I never get back to him. Um, but I've acquired a, a kind of a collection of cameras over the years. Uh, and they are, they are tools. And... Uh, some cameras serve me better in certain situations than others, um, but I've, I've always really trusted the Leica, that Leica M6. Well, like I said, it's an expose as well as uh, me protecting the city. I, I wanted to show what it truly is. And we get so many, we get caught up in the idea in the Tinseltown of the, the glitz and glamour of it. We see, you know, red carpet events, we see interviews, we see, we see the lights turned on and the makeup and all the stuff. But once you remove all that and you see the, the reality and the people that live there, and some of these people had dreams and aspirations to go out and be the Hollywood star that they set out to be, and it, maybe it just didn't work. Or maybe they didn't, they couldn't stick to their regimen, or maybe something happened. Um, but it didn't stop them from chasing their dreams. They're still chasing their dreams. There's something inspiring about that, and I needed to, to capture that and show um, my version of it. Now, is it the be-all, end-all version? Absolutely not. That's the beauty of it. And as I do these interviews, I'm starting to learn more about my book through others' interpretations of what they're seeing. And... Um, as you start to look at the people, that was the thing that started to come to the surface for me is as I was shooting the book, the people would come up to the surface and it really changed how I looked at the world around me now. Um, I would make eye contact with people more often and uh, with permission and uh, come into a very intimate space while I was photographing them, learn about their life, learn about their stories, whether or not they were real or fake. In a town like Hollywood, you never know what's real or what's fake. And... Um, and it was, it was quite an experience to, to be a part of that. So there's, there's two parts to that answer. The first part is the entire book in its entirety to me is one great, huge picture of Hollywood. But then the photo that always has resonated with me is, uh, is on the back of the book. It's a, it's a photo of the sunset. And uh, that actual photo is in the book towards the end of the book um, before this Foreverland uh, story. 
and that that's always really resonated with me because the, here we are in the hustle and bustle and the jive and the like the, the constant hunger for the fame monster or to, to make it or or just to live another day and be seen uh, no one really like looks up and notices how beautiful Los Angeles is so it was it was uh, it was my favorite it's my favorite photo that I've taken in that in the book and it means something different to me I mean that's my my experience. My favorite place to f to take photos would be the Hollywood Walk of Fame because you always just get character after character, and sometimes people won't even dress up. They'll just be like, "Look at me, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm Edward from Twilight," you know, or something, and they'll just be like, <laughs> totally not look anything like Edward from Twilight, but they believe it, and that's what's so fun about it. Um, yeah, it's so the Hollywood Walk of Fame is just like, it's so exciting and interesting and. And I really wanted for the portraiture of the people to almost be like you yourself, the reader, are walking in a dream through Hollywood and, you know, touching the shoulders of people and just kind of making eye contact and looking around to see if you can tell what's real or fake. And uh, I've placed a lot of different iconic people in the susurrus of, you know, what, who would be named mundane or transient. Um, but in a lot of ways, we're all just one step away from each other's lives in different ways. I love it. I think that it's important uh, for everybody to kind of share their story with photography because photography is one of the most important means of human communication, in my opinion, in my opinion. Um, there's tons of other ways uh, that we communicate, but through photography, sometimes we can I explain something that would take so many words to even begin to understand ourselves. And... Uh, and because it's subjective, um, you're getting people that normally are not in a creative realm. Uh, they find so much solace and, and comfort, calm, calm, uh, a calm place to land in photography and sharing their their vision of their viewpoint. Um, but it's really, imp I think it's really amazing and important. And as a photographer, I do feel like it's my duty to share. Uh, a viewpoint of some sort so that you know in in 50 years 100 years maybe someone blows the dust off this book and goes oh my god like this was that point in time um this is what it was you know because things change so rapidly uh as we could see if you look at it, in 1812 joseph nace fournieps takes a photo out of his his bedroom window and uh, took takes a piece of pewter and puts some chemicals on it and puts it outside and and now that is like one of the most iconic photos that started photography. Um, it's just a, it's a, what is it, a mirror with memory. It will probably follow along these lines. I've already begun to shoot it. Um, can't really talk about it too much, but it is, uh, it's in the works right now and it, and it will follow along these lines because I really do respond to it. And I find that a lot of people respond to it in a way that it inspires uh, not only others, but it really inspires me to hear what other people think. And they create their own versions of their own forever lands, their own perfect moments that they're sharing with others as well. It's available everywhere the books are sold. And if you're international, you can get it at www.keganallenlive.com, signed. Or if you're in the United States, you can go to www.keganallenbook.com for tour dates and uh, purchasing your book. Thank you.